Hi guys, Woody here, and welcome to a bit of a bonus uh, episode. Um, I was asked a couple of days ago by one of my uh, loyal subscribers, Derek Khan, um, if I could share my tactics. Um, I'm a journeyman here. Um, and yeah, so I thought we'd go through them. Now, obviously, this is Leeds, not my journeyman. Um, no spoilers, as you can see here, it's the very start. I didn't want to use that just in case there was any spoilers or anything coming out there. But anyway, I'm going to go through my tactics now. So uh, I'm basically doing the 4 1 3 1 uh, 1. No wibbling, and this is the uh, third version that I've got here. Um, so it has made, it has, you know, some little tweaks here and there. Um, the centralized tactic is, you know, it's generally considered to be quite overpowered. Not not quite overpowered, but, you know, a strong tactic in this. Although you can win with really any sort of tactic if you've got the right players. But I don't mind this one because I feel like it's not, like, really overpowered. As, you know, say the 2-3, the was it 2-3 or whatever, anything like that. Or like an iodine or anything like that. It's got some relative... Um, Realism, I guess, to it, although you might push these guys a little bit wider, but there's no wibbling with this at all, so wherever the guys are here, um, that's where they're just going to be forever. Not forever, but you know what I mean. Um, once it, well, the whole thing with wibbling, if you're going to wibble, wibble. If you don't, you don't. It's, it's your gameplay, however you want. Uh, look, I mean, I do it sometimes, because even sometimes you think about it with the ball here, and you're like, well, I want... Um, you know, I want David Batty, I want him to be a little bit more forward. So move him forward. The ball's here, in this square here. And you're like, the only person I've got in here is Lee Boyer. Well, I want Ian Hart to be in this as well. And you can just edit, and if you reflect, it'll do the same on that side for Gary Kelly. So you can do that there, and they get that thicker circle uh, over them like that. Anyway, that's that. Um, so we'll go through some team instructions now of attacking, direct passing, hard tackling, pressing, yes, and offside trap as well. Um, yes. Uh, sometimes I don't really use the offside trap. Uh, it's, I don't know why it's on this one, actually. We should probably turn the offside trap off. Up to you. I guess it's on. It's been working. So anyway, uh, if I am winning, um, you know, I do this very occasionally, I'm so bad at changing tactics. I drop to defensive, long, normal, no pressing, no offside trap, and just men behind the ball and just wind down the clock. Um, you notice that I don't have any free kick takers, corner takers, or playmaker. I usually don't bother with that computer, it tends to pick pretty good ones anyway. Um, I mean, you could have a look at, uh, if you wanted to, at their set pieces. Um, and the like, I mean, it wouldn't be picking Eric Backy there. Obviously, we want, uh, I mean, we want Ian Hart. What, what am I thinking? Set pieces of 17. So that's that. Uh, player instructions, meanwhile. Um, we'll go through them. You can have a look at them. I don't really change these too much. Nigel Martin just on mixed passing and no marking. You don't want your goalkeeper marking. Um, that's just a bit weird. Um, the wing backs. Uh, set pieces are going to be forward. Um, run with the ball, uh, forward runs, and try to cross the ball in there. They're both exactly the same, Ian Hart and Gary Kelly in this case. Um, so, nice and easy. Now, I'm pretty sure these are relatively instructions they come with when you do, um, when you probably load up the default 4-1-3-2 uh, tactic. Uh, I, just drop, I think it's exactly the same, I just drop... Uh, is it? Let's just have a look. Is it? Uh, oh wait, no. Save that. I don't think I made any changes to it. Anyway, whatever. Yep, and that. And yeah, I think I pretty much just drop the arrow of him, push him up there, and drop one of the other guys. Uh, other guys back. Just, you know, because one striker seems to work better in this. Like one or three seems to work better. Two still works fine. Um, anyway, where we're at. Central defenders. Uh, Lucas Radibi, often forward on the set pieces, zonal marking, pretty standard kind of thing. Both central defenders, nothing really too outrageous with that. Um, come to the DMC, in this case Oliver Decor, he's just mixed passing, zonal marking. Uh, other, other than that, he doesn't really do anything. I just want him sitting right here holding the ball. I have sometimes tried to man mark the DMC on a striker. Uh, mm, to add some odd success, lim limited success, I'd say. It's about hit and miss sometimes, 50-50. Uh, 
Uh, that was team instructions. Uh, now for the midfield three, some slight differences here. So the uh, the middle guy who's not pushing forward, he is uh, on forward runs, run with ball, and he does try long shots. So obviously put a guy in there who's good with long shots. In this case, not David Batty. Um, but it's just in there because, you know, whatever. Um, the two guys on the left and the right, I, I would try and make them left and right footed, maybe. Um, if you can't, you can't. It's probably not the end of the world. Uh, but they're both just on uh, forward runs and run with the ball. That's pretty much it. Uh, the man behind the striker there, in this case, it's Harry Kuehl. Uh, forward runs and run with the ball again. So we've got these three here. They're doing a lot of running with the ball, a lot of pushing up, uh, as you can see, up into these squares here. Uh, that's where I want them. And then my striker, he's forward for set pieces as well, forward runs as well, and uh, and just to hold up the ball. So if he's in this only holding up the ball, then I've got these guys here. He can offer some sort of, um, you know, chance for them to score. And if you have a look, Harry Kuehl is like right on top of him there as well. Same sort of deal here. We can get crosses coming in. That's pretty much it. In a nutshell, that's the tactic that I'm using um, for for this one here. Um, I'll show you the tactic that I'm using in my You Can't With Anything With Kids Save. Um, give me a sec. All right, guys, this is the tactic for You Can't With Anything With Kids. Um, your standard 4-3-3 three, three, pretty much um, we've obviously got our left and right backs running forward as well we've got a DMC two midfielders, the wingers pushing into the middle as you can see here, they're all going to end up in this box right here um, and the like okay, you know I'd, might, I'd maybe even be inclined to push these guys up with here because you can see them with the ball um, they might do that but yeah much for muchness there, we, it might be something I'll tweak later on. Once again, there's no weird warping with this one either, because, yeah, uh, sometimes like a challenge. Team instructions on this, we've got attacking again, hard, pressing, offside trap, yes, and short passing. This is pretty much the standard team instructions that I use all the time, but maybe, like, shifting between these two, they're really the ones that I, I stick with all the time. I don't mix passing, yeah, maybe, um, but that's pretty much always attacking, always hard tackling. Pressing, yes, I find tends to get the best results. Um, but, you know, I'm hardly an expert. So, on this one here, same sort of deal as before with the goalkeeper, mixed passing and zonal marking. Uh, the left and the right back this time, set pieces, while well, they're doing direct passing, uh, they're back for set pieces, forward runs and run with the ball, and they're not marking anyone. Maybe we should make the marking. Why is Ian Hart marking and Gary Kelly isn't marking? I should, and they're really different. Is that cool? Oh, that's because Ian Hart's there. That's how we should be. All right, that makes a lot more sense because Ian Hart now has exactly the same as Gary Kelly. Back for set pieces, direct passing, forward runs and run with the ball and no marking for either of them. Central defenders, forward for set pieces, back for defensive ones, uh, no pressing, uh, zonal marking and pretty, you know, you don't really want these guys running with the ball or trying any, anything crazy like that. That's probably going to be the very similar for Oliver Decor there. Um, I don't know why I've got him passing to the left. He's probably just passed to the left, right, center. Why he's always going to the left? How bizarre. Um, but yeah, just once again, same sort of deal with that. Just want these three just sitting in this defensive triangle, not really going anywhere. Um, two midfielders are very, very similar, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Why right, is Eric Backer should be doing like this? And Lee Bowyer pressing team. Yep, <clears throat> so they're the same there. They're forward runs um, and, and long shots as well. If they're not good at long shots, just take long shots off. There's no point if your midfielders don't have good long shots, putting them in here um, and having them, you know, long shots five and just wasting the chances. But uh, Lee Bowyer uh, and uh, Oliver Decor. Uh, uh, Eric Backy long shots, man, probably okay. I'd probably maybe take Eric Backy off long shots. Uh, then we've got our two wingers. So in this case, we want forward runs, free roll, run with the ball as well, uh, because we want these guys to be quite uh, open, getting that ball, 
and uh, as you can see here when it's in they're in here as well so they're almost like you know those three sort of strikers there as well and Mark Vaduku's forward runs run with the ball and he's holding up short passing easy tackling for him and no pressing short passing is good for him um, so he can hold up that ball a bit better and just do these short passing to either Bo or Bakke coming in here like that um, so that's pretty much it are the two tactics I'm using at the moment got a lot of other tactics that I've used over various courses and this thing uh, but you know like you can probably win I mean you can you can win most most things with any tactic um, just depending how good your players are and sometimes like it can even be struggling uh, and you just can't break down a team or whatever and you lose the game there it's a simple thing sometimes just changing the passing from you know short to direct can 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 make massive improvements in that uh, in your in your fortunes. Um, so that's pretty much money. Pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to go over a couple of tactics that I am using uh, and break them down there for you. Um, so, like I said, they're, they're pretty straightforward. You um, there's, there's nothing really special about them. Um, they do get some good results. I probably would say that the um, uh, yeah, sure. This one here is probably uh, you're going to get a bit more success with it um, than maybe the other winged one, um, especially on the original versions. Not very good wingers, and we all know the centralized tactic works works a lot better. Um, so that's it, guys. If you enjoyed that one, like I said, just a little bonus one, just a short one today. Um, hit that like button. Give me a comment if you've got some tactics or whatever you want to, you know, throw out there. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.